Hello, Saints Nation. Welcome back here to this best of three NECC Valorant series. It's going to be your St. Clair Saints versus UMass Lowell. If you are just tuning in, it is quite the game. A 13-10 yes. victory for the Saints here in game one on Icebox. We're going to be heading over to Ascent, I do believe, here now yes. with their Saints on the defense side to start us off. Agent selection be coming up right around the corner. But what a game one, Jobin. Yeah. Now we're getting ready for game two. Pleasantly surprised how well they played Icebox. We hadn't really seen them play it a ton, or honestly, a lot of teams, because just a familiarity issue. But they played really, really well. The only round they, it's saying they lost a lot of rounds. They definitely should have won too. So you wanted to, you take a lot of positives out of that game. You like where your head's at, especially missing Casper coming out and not really missing a beat. They played extremely, extremely mm -hmm. well. Strider had an excellent game with that utility. So now we're going to see, it looks like possibly a mirror match. Yeah, finally going to see a mirror match on Ascent. Pretty standard comps for the new meta and got to see which team pulls away here. Saints looking to close it out 2-0. I'm happy to see Wombat sticking on the Jet. Yes. I'm happy to see Strider sticking on the Omen. He's been very, very good with that Omen. And uh, following this one up more, Vcan, it's great that he's playing a KJ. He's good with it, and it's going to provide some good utility yep. um, and force some players out of sight. But the one thing that I'm very happy to see more than anything is the Blossom on the KO. I think a KO yep. would have made a huge difference for the Saints in the last game, and I think it's going to have quite the impact here in this one. And I also do think as well that the Saints starting on the defense side will benefit them more in this game uh, going into the yeah, so we saw Blossom definitely when he plays the Rays in the KO, it's almost two different play styles with Rays. He's looking for those first bloods and he's almost looking to play like that jet role of like get in the site and create space from the inside out. But on KO, you have, you can play a lot more strategically and those grenades, they just take so much damage and his his overall kit just has so much use that Blossom. Gonna try to Ooh. find something. Wombat, well, unable to get the tag, but we'll dash out of there. So no harm, no foul. They will get the Altor, will UMass, they will recover. They will, I assume it'll be a pretty heavy A push. The glass will get broken in tree. So hybrid, gonna try to drone out a couple here. Gonna be stuck in tree. Omen smoke will come down. So both teams just trying to figure out who will get first blood here before they make a move. One thing that is very, very interesting as well about this site is if you KO knife main, then they literally can't push it right away because yes. they have no utility to make it onto site. But that's going to be a few kills going in favor of UMass, a three on two, and Maxio going crazy with that frenzy. Leaves VCAN all alone, 1v3. He does have the Sova, Jet, and the KJ all actually uh, fairly tagged down. They have no heals. A turret in here as well to try to open things up a little bit. The Jet will peek his head out, and VCAN with lots of intel. He finds the first if he was able to connect on Boomer. Yes, has a very there was good a chance. chance. Yeah, just that spray, just able to not get the flick, putting the turret down for some extra help. UMass, pretty strong attack there, able to get the first blood and just witness once again, or Maxi actually this time popping out with that frenzy, able to find two kills immediately, and Boonger able to get the bomb down and set him up. Now they're gonna have a couple, a uh, couple SMGs. Actually, gonna go five stack SMGs. That so maybe a sheriff. Gonna be a couple marshals for the side of Saint Clair. So hybrid playing the marshal as well. So a little bit of a, a wrinkle. Not where. Yeah, maybe not actually. I was gonna say we don't usually see him on the marshal, so I wasn't exactly sure. But just be wombat. Gonna peek long on that jet marshal and try to find an early kill. I don't agree with it. I don't. I not truly don't. With the half because armor, yeah. Or it's the just because he has too much invested into this round. That next round, I'm very concerned that if his whole team can get a full buy, but he can't, it's going to be a problem. Boomer, Maxi, you're going to find all of them first here now over towards a main. Now leaving it all up to the final two members of St. Clair. It's going to be Strider as well as VCAN rotating over. Yeah, and the problem with that Marshall, they all had full armor, so it's not like the operator strength that it always necessarily always is on the eco round. So now St. Clair down 5v2. This is going to be a pretty tricky post plant. Vcan going to try to find something in Raptors and Heaven. He will get run up on. Ooh. Double right click on Cutie. We'll miss the third on Witness. He will get the jumping Spectre shot. So now all on the shoulders of Strider. We'll try to find it. And Strider will go down to Witness's gun. You must keep four alive, and they take round two. He dinked Dolan there, but uh, it just wasn't enough. Yeah. So... Nice stuff from St. Clair with the pistols. They tried to do what they can. Vikings with two right now. Hybrid as well with two. And this is where the buys come through. This is why I had a problem with <laughs> Wombat buying out last round. Because yep. look at this round. You could have had a Phantom or a Vandal like the rest of your squad. But no. Down and stuck onto a Spectre. And uh, I, it's not going to be a crazy big deal in my opinion. Just because the other team only has four Spectres and a Sheriff anyhow. But you just wish that you know you had a little more oomph with your shots here in this one. Yeah, it all adds up. And even to say, especially when they did have the full armor. The Marshal just didn't have the value that maybe he thought it was going to. Maybe he thought they'd only go half armor with a different buy, so just wasn't necessarily the best play, but luckily now Saints are going to be on a pretty decent buy. Boom, are going to try to line up these uh, nano storms, try to get them over the wall. They will shoot out the dart. Smokes are going to come through tree in the main area. Wombat going to be holding the short corner. Paranoid will go through a lot of utility getting traded from both teams, so lots of info getting exchanged. 
Spectre shots. Woke of Three Strider finds two. Woke of Traded. Maxi finds two in exchange. Wow. Hybrid finds two more, and then Blossom finds one. So a two for two for three, and then St. Clair ends up winning three nothing. A two for two for three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a, a very nice one there. One to two score line now after the first three. They are still trailing, but they do have a round under their belt, and they will have a good rifle buy here now in this one as well. Strider mm, gonna be on a Spectre, I think. Yeah, you gotta try to get some armor. I think that's the issue. Yeah, actually, he's going to be able to get bought oh, from Hybrid, I believe, go. so looking nice very guy. good. So, yeah, <laughs> nice guy, <laughs> nice guy Hybrid over there, 4-2, and two, looking good at the top of the leaderboard. But Maxio, having a game for himself here, it's actually very interesting to see Witness switch off the yes. deck for this one. Um, maybe it's just with the agent combo that they're working with, it doesn't really work out as nicely, but regardless of that being said, we should have a little bit more of an even round here in this one. Saints down by one, looking to tie up this game. He can, wants to find one early, he is going to swing, he will get spotted out, no damage done, so no issue there. He is going to have a lot of KJ utility on that little catwalk. No Suppressed knife will come out and hunt to Shuri now as well. So Witness gonna try to wow. find he will find Walnut right off the rip, trying to find Strider in heaven, just unable to get the second tag, but excellent hunt to Shuri. And now St. Clair down two members in UMass got five. Strider is gonna try to walk through Garden, is gonna try to Oh, he's right behind a bunch of members of UMass, but bumping shoulders oh. finds two on the spray with headshots. So you, Strider bringing this round back for the Saints now. They are full health and they do have a chance to retake Cider, so. Strider able to keep him alive. He is going to get They're pushed up by quarter. three members. He did send the Paranoia and the smoke out. He will get baited up by Blossom. Witness will find the kill on Blossom. Strider will eventually fall. And now down to 2v1. Vcan did have the flank. Unable to land the shots. Finds one though. And now it's 1v1. Vcan and Maxi. Vcan going to have to wander through three. Spike will get faked. And Vcan will get murdered by Maxi. So Maxi once again just continuing this dominance. I hate to be that guy right now, but I still think Vcan should be using a Phantom yeah. in these gunfights. I mean, there, he had some nice shots there. He had some pretty these wide, close quarters, easy man. openings. Yeah, there, there were close corners, right? And those are the situations where you're going to want that Phantom a little bit more. It acts like a little bit more of like an SMG style type thing. Um, So, with that being said, St. Clair will drop that round. It shouldn't be crazy big of a deal, but like we were talking about last game, you don't want to have to look back on the game and be like, man, if only we won that one yeah. round or something like that. So here we are now in round number five. It's going to be four rifles for the side of UMass and one pistol. St. Clair with a half by trying to see whatever, do whatever they can. But Boomer opening things up in a KJ versus KJ fight. Yeah, Bladestorm did get popped on line for as well. So Maxi, gonna, I'm guessing going to go head hunting the way he's been playing so far. He's going to dash immediately and will try to shut the door. So try to close off market from the Saints. And he will immediately peek that long. So Maxi getting a lot of sight control out of that Bladestorm and that dash right away. And UMass oh. will get shut down by Blossom Shorty. Blossom somehow doesn't find the second kill. KO at least. Literal 1 HP, but excellent job to get in the, the face of Maxi and shut off that Blade Storm. And now, the KJ Alt will come down the lockdown. Nano Storm will come through Wombat. We'll get tagged out decently enough. They will have to fall back and get out of the range of this Killjoy. They will get detained. It is still 4v3, and Strider does have the ultimate, so definitely doable. However, Boonger will find his third on hybrid. Wombat is detained, and now St. Clair not looking too strong. That KJ was just putting such a good spot yeah. there for the side of UMass. And you're going to be looking for exits at this point in time, but that knife did spot out one, and that's going to spot out the Aww. other. So they know both players are stacked up in this garage area. Ooh. Wombat, good for one. Boom here for a trade on the 4K. Looking for the ace. Not able to find it. Strider will take him down, but Dolan there for the trade. UMass will get the round. St. Clair will manage to get three kills, and they do have four alts. So this is the time here where I do feel like if St. Clair is in almost a must-win round case scenario, um, they can afford to lose it, but I mean, you have so much assets put into this round that you're going to want to come away with yeah. it. How does Blossom not get that second kill with the shorty? I love that the first yeah, that, one, it's 100%. a flush headshot, instant kill. The second one is like, nah, 149, or I don't know what kind of armor he had, but, and that one HP, man, just keeping that last player alive, able to get those suppresses out and get the information. UMass able to close, St. Clair. Only going to be half armor for Strider, full rifles, and full armor for the rest, so this is a round you definitely want to try to get, because if you lose this one, it's going to be a, another two or three uh, rounds in trouble. Yeah, it's giving me a lot of pressure over towards this A bomb site. You have KJ in mid and will find Wombat. Wombat, he's been having a really rough game here so far. And Boomer will spot him out in mid once again. I feel like Wombat might be more inclined to maybe slow things down here nice soon. Made. Oh, Strider! He's going to be forced out of his position. Beautiful lineups wow. for UMass Lowell. It's a four on three with them having a player advantage. Blossom Force way back. Hybrid. Good for one. Good for a second. He does his job. Going to leave this into a two on two retake. These Ascent KO nade lineups, man, are absolutely stunning. The damage able to get turned out there, but St. Clair did get to a 2v2. Lockdown did get through. Hunter Shuri going to try to find it now and find the destroy on it. He will end up finding the destroy. It's almost getting a tag as well on Vcan and Tree. Blossom is playing Heaven and Vcan playing Tree. Blossom goes down. Vcan unable to swing because Blossom lost the fight. Cutie finds his third of the round in UMass. All that, all that drama and able to end up taking the round. Surprise St. Clair didn't use more than one alt. 
Yes. Um, they they had them available. They only used the KJ. Um, what's it called? I can't remember. Lockdown. 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 There we go. You got me. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, Saint Clair going to uh, only use the one out there, and I feel like it's a little bit surprising in one of those case scenarios where it was another one of those rounds where maybe not must win, but if you lose that round, you're going to be put onto another half by like we're seeing here right now. Hybrid buying out full. Here's the thing as well. I don't really see that they're on the same page because you see VK investing so much in this round, but nobody else is. Yeah, and usually you don't see a hero rifle on a KJ either. It's not like, I mean, she's going to be sitting back and playing defensive, but usually you wouldn't have her sitting on the hero rifle. Blossom going to have the entire team running him down. Finds a couple tags, but no kills. VK will clean up and oh. find three though with a spray. Two with the wall bang headshot. A fourth going to walk up. Able to find the spray. Oh, oh my god, god VK! VK with a five piece for the ace. Shuts down UMass quick and fast and a little smile afterwards. And shuts us up clearly. I mean, the hero rifle play. We were like, nah, man, no, nah, you can't be hero rifling. You Sorry. gotta stick with the team's economy. No, it's the caster's curse, man. I, it's St. Clair will have VK going off into that round four and five. Now coming out of it nine and five. Beautiful ace to shut down the rush over towards the B bomb site. And St. Clair is now going to have another round with their name. Oh, it's, it's funny. Gonna... He went hero rifle and he went vandal. So just screw whatever we said. Yeah. Just do it. Do what works, man. <laughs> whatever you got to do. They are going to be back on full rifles, full armor. A couple of SMGs inside of UMass. A little information exchange. But St. Clair, that's a momentum starter, too. That's exactly how you want to try to get back into a game. A hundred percent. And now, if you look at it, you pass, like you'd think they'd have a little bit more of an economy after winning so many rounds, but no. They're going to have some shares out oh, here. No one Spectres as well. The knife is through. No That's going to be Blossom and Vcan, both with kills already. And now a five on two as Vcan's good for another. Nobody, oh my goodness! Vcan finding three. Nobody checks that market corner. Every single stream we've ever had, that corner is free real estate. Vcan finds two free kills, finding a third. And now, look at this Killjoy play. Is this Killjoy or, or Jet play? He will okay. get shut down. Witness end up shutting down Vcan finally after his reign of terror the last two rounds. Blossom will take out Witness now in revenge. And St. Clair once again looking real strong. Vcan, that is the most offensive and oppressive Killjoy I've ever seen. Eight kills in two rounds. He's going to be the top frag of the lobby here now. And it's going to be 12 and 6 in this game. Making wonders happen. Look at but the Killjoy's as top frags. Get, like, what? <laughs> and you see the jet for St. Clair. Yeah, well, he's having a little bit of a rough game, but you typically do never see the jet at the bottom of the team. Usually, The jet's got assist and the killjoy has zero assist. How's that? Uh, it, <laughs> Valorant's an interesting <laughs> game, my man, but 10 rifles are going to be coming through in the lobby here in this round. Full armor on everybody but one of the members of UMass, and then they're going to try B again here. I'm pretty surprised, I'm not yeah. going to lie. Oh, they are going to use the lockdown, though, so they are going to try to get some penetration here. The knuckle man did get popped as well. Now Hunter's Jerry for Harbor going to try to find the lockdown and we'll actually end up getting a tag. So able to take out the lockdown is also an excellent job. And able to find one tag with the Fury. So getting some damage through as well. UMass does have their own Hunter's Jury. St. Clair still has their own lockdown and the Omen Alt if they decide to use it. Bomb is going to get planted by Boonger near backside Boathouse in the corner. Spike will go down. Saints will play retake. Hybrid will catch Cutie in mid teleport. We'll almost get, we'll almost get the kill. Shock Dart will get tagged. The Shock Dart will find him in the afterlife. And Strider finds a headshot on Witness. So now a 4v3. Excellent nano swarm by Boonger to drop Strider. And now into a 3v3. Yeah, there's the defender Killjoy, but I'm a little bit concerned about how much time is left on this bomb. There is going to be a player here. The wall bank shots did not work out. It's all left up to Wombat. you got to pull it out. He's got to find it. Not able to in the lockdown. Uh, just not enough. No, just not enough at all there. It's going to be St. Clair dropping that one. And just these close, close rounds that have been killing them. UMass has been super clutch as of lately. Yeah, St. Clair, that was so, so close. They invested a lot into it. The lockdown, the Hunter's Fury, they tried everything they could. Wombat just had to buy another literal 0.2 seconds of that lockdown. He would have got the detain. I'm sure he would have found the Sheriff headshot. And I think he would have had time for the defuse, but unluckily that did not happen. But St. Clair, hybrid. The Odin Sova spam on Ascent. Got to bring it back. It's got to come out at least once a match. Wombat is going to be in the operator. So St. Clair playing no games with this eco. They're going to come out and try to take this round. And so here we are. St. Clair... UMass, round number 10 in our first half here. St. Clair is going to need to find at least five here on this defending side, in my opinion, yeah. for them to want to come through and potentially find a game win. And once again, it's going to be a full A stack for UMass. Let's see how these entries do go. Strider making sure that he removes some of these nanoswarms and whatnot. Maxi, though, already onto site here. 
And this bomb is looking to go in, and that's going to be a nice Omen TP as well. They're going to have a lot of control of this site here now. Yeah, really, really good job. Omen teleports into hell. Oh. Now hybrid. Here comes the Odin spam, trying to find the bomb. Just drawing lines around the members of UMass. Blossom one to find the kill, though. So Blossom finds two now going through tree. So 5v3. Wolf flash out, trying to find another. V can perfect bait for Blossom. Blossom finds a third, and V can finds two. So Blossom and V can, little two man game in St. Clair. We'll get the defuse and take it and make it 6 4. With a flawless round as well, yes. which is very, very big. That should should really also help their economy for these final two rounds yep. of this half. And St. Clair, if they can force this one to 6-6, six, six, I mean, this is anybody's game still. I mean, this is still anybody's game right now, obviously. Yeah. But Wombat will be pulling out the AWP again. Hybrid still on the Odin, so we're starting to change up these rifles a little bit, or the weaponry a little bit, where we actually do see UMass, and now forced onto a light buy or a half buy. It's going to consist of the Sheriff's, Spectres, a little bit of armor, probably a little bit of util here as well. Yeah, that's, that's more on the, yeah, the soft side than the light side. That's going to be a pretty, pretty weak buy for UMass. So if you're St. Clair, this is one of those, like, you don't have to have it, but you got to have it. Because this even if the Bladestorm and the Hunter's Fury come online, you have such an advantage. And just as we said, Maxi will end up popping the Bladestorm and try to figure something out. Unfortunately, the Recon Dart, yeah. I don't think he's going to get the information he wants there. But Wombat did get the Entry Frag on Boonger, so... And Strider is going to hit that Omen TP as well, so he's going to uh, reinforce that backside B. Because they know UMass is probably going to swing through here. KJ Turret gets the info, B can peeks over his turret. Drops and able to drop witness, able to get the kill, drops the spike in garage. Dolan able to recover, but hybrid gonna be on that Odin spam. That is not a safe oh! space, my friend. And he will find the kill on Dolan on top of Blossom finding one as well. So that Odin spray discriminates against nobody and able to find the kill through the wall. And now 5v1 all on QT to figure this one out in mid. Blossom will be just around the corner, could potentially find something here now, but uh, QD is just, uh, what do you do? I mean, Vika not going to check it, Ooh. and it's going to be one kill, could it be a second? Hybrid though, the Odin will clean things up. Five to six game here, your Saints are going to be limiting the scoreline here at half, and uh, they're going to look to end this one in a tie game, so we're 11 rounds through, and St. Clair wanting a 6-6 six, six half. Yeah, we had a 6-6 six, six on Icebox as well, so I guess maybe only fitting we get the 6-6 six, six on Ascent. Gonna have the full by hybrid back on the Odin man. The Odin descent spray, it just never ends. When you think it might be dead or you forget about it, there it comes back and immediately finds value. So St. Clair doing whatever they have to do to get the job done right now. Gonna be half armor on Maxi, no ultimates for St. Clair, and only the Hunter Shuri for UMass. So a little bit disadvantage there, but they have a very solid buy. Odin up full armor. Now I just gotta try to win this one out and even this one out going into the second half. It's the first time in a while we've actually seen a split push from UMass. Ooh. Wombat still good for the first. Ooh. I will find both of them. I do believe. Yes. So it's going to inflict some good damage, but the kill might be a little bit more valuable. Boonger yeah. now over towards this B site, and they're giving it up for free. And they're the, playing B site retakes. Yeah, they're going to. I guess I don't really hate that idea. You killed Max, you took out one of their stronger players. So they have no ultimates. There's no lockdown to worry about. You have to just fight through the wave of nanos and alarm bot. And then you can play a 5v4 retake and Sinclair. They're going to try to play this one safe. Probably try to raid each other out. B can finding a huge frag to start things off. So this just got a lot easier for the Saints now. 5v3. Darts will tag out a couple. There's a lot Finds the kill and Garage, and he can now gets the lockdown as well. So UMass gonna be in a world of trouble. Two back to your bonus. One that finds the kill with the off. Vcan walks up on the battle. Killjoy finds the third kill. We'll stick the defuse, and once again, we're going to be knotted up at 6-6 going into the second half. I know the Killjoy really, or sorry, the Killjoy uh, lockdown really didn't have a crazy impact on that round because those players were getting pushed off site regardless, but the KJ lockdown just it was the insurance policy. Yes. It was the one that was just making sure they were able to clean it up, so that's why I was really highlighting it. Once Vcan found that one, I really wanted to point it out. I also want to point out how he's leading the lobby in kills by 7. That is How do you have zero crazy. assists on a Killjoy? I didn't think it was possible. Yeah, not the Genuinely. Uh, hey, I mean, it is <laughs> it's a little crazy to see. Um, Saints on the attack now, though. They are looking to turn things around. Despite being down 5-1, you'll take a 6-6 six, six half all day. Yeah, something the Saints have, they've proven they can battle back. When they get down 5-6-1, we've seen two or three different times against some pretty strong teams that they will battle back. They find a way, and whether it's a clutch play, they come out with an ace, they get a sick defuse, and now... Going to be a 5v5, going to play this pistol and try to take the lead for the first time in what seems like forever this match. Yeah, 100%. And you know what? Going down 6-1 and being able to come back, it's a good skill to have. Yes. But you really do want to be not going down 6-1 Yeah, 6 the, the skill to game. not go down 6-1. <laughs> exactly the case, right? So here we are. 
Going into our next round is the full stack over towards this A bomb site, but it's actually going to be some utility sent through, and now looking like a little bit more of a rotation, focusing out this mid side and maybe creeping into B. You see Sova way back into spawn, and it looks like they're all going to be wrapping. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking this play here a little bit, not going to lie to you. Yeah, a little bit of trickery, just a little bit of info, especially on pistol. You don't always see such a slow rotate. You see it here and again, but they try to fake out A, because look at all that killjoy utility on A now for UMass is going to go to waste. You cannot pick up those nanos. Turrets take a while wow. to recover. V can't find to kill in tree with cutie so began challenging everything finds a second so now b site almost free the ko nade will come through to delay the push but v can will get suppressed as well Dilon or dolan trying to find this push here v can will walk up on him finds a kill on v can but wombat will get the kill on witness and i believe he shut the door as well the market so st Clair got site control will he be able to get bombed down and it's 4v2 v can did his job there yes. perfectly he was going to go over there do a little bit of a lurking and when do you send kg as the lock? i was gonna say like, like, the fact <laughs> we even said that like okay so yeah he's gonna go over there and lurk and he could just completely cuts off rotations hybrid's good for another he's looking for the right click blossom will find it with the friend and that's going to be around for St. Clair, only losing VCAN. And VCAN doesn't really mind if he goes down because he found two kills for himself regardless. And he almost pretty much won that round for St. Clair. He's going to be in 20 kills already, leading the lobby by nine. And uh, St. Clair will take their first lead in quite some time here. Actually, the first lead in this game. You got to be built different to send a Killjoy to lurk and just expect it to work and it keeps working. Like that's, I don't think, I cannot count teams on more than like the hand, fingers on my hand that they send a Killjoy to go lurk and to get all that information from tree and mid and try to figure everything out. But here we are, VCAN still finding a way to get it done saints gonna be on a bunch of smgs full armor for a couple of them gonna be a lot of pistols and no armor for the side of umass so if you're saint Clair, just come out and try to take this one and not drop any guns yeah we are nearing the end of march here and i will say from september uh, i gotta give vk most improved like he has been crazy wombat will yes. come through here finding a kill and Ooh. that's gonna be blossom with a good grenade kill vk and good for one as well he's gonna be at 21 kills now in this game and it's a five on two yeah omen next to nothing here on cutie at 12 health sova witness you're gonna have to make some dream plays come through because wombat's good for another kill and now wombat he's fighting it all the sheriff will do some good damage but blossom there for the kill and yeah just as i was saying I mean, Vikan, he's been improving so, so much, yes. and I'm gonna have to say most improved, because he was always able to hold his own, he was always able to do his thing, whatnot, right? But he was never that consistent top fragger, yep. and now we see it in almost, you know, I'd say 30% of games or so, Vikan is going to be on the top two spots on that team, well playing supportive characters, yep. and I think that's the big thing to highlight there. Yeah, when he's playing initiators and sentinels like Sage, Killjoy, and Viper, and finding a way to get 20 plus frags in multiple games, if you would say, "Hey, our set, our, our site lockdown is going to end up with 20 plus kills," you're going to win. I bet you at least 80 to 90 percent of your games because that's just not usually their role, not what they're built for. But Vcan has adjusted and found a way to do it beautifully while still using great utility, getting those lockdowns, putting those turrets in the right spot. And Maxi, once again. Back on this operator, so these jet ops for you, Matt, they don't stop. Oh, we'll find the kill on Vcan, so Vcan finally getting punished on the KJ lurk, so they are going to get the shutdown. UMass is going to be 5v4, and St. Clair got to try to battle back. The Ares, what is this, uh, oh, December? here we go. <laughs> Here it is, the shots go through, Witness good for one, but that is going to be Wombat for the trade. Cutie finding Wombat, it's going to be a two for one in favor of a UMass Strider now, DPing over to this door side. Bomb down, he's going to be covering off CT watch. Blossom coming in through Market's going to be massive, but the flash is going to do it all. Blossom here now in Market, good for one, but Cutie will clean up the round. UMass will once again be finding their bonus round win, and now only be trailing by one to the St. Clair Saints. Yeah, Max, he's still on the operator as well. Going to see a couple rifles for St. Clair, that's all they're going to have. Actually, they made up money for full rifles. That's to just depend what the uh, the boys are feeling. Null Command will be online for St. Clair. No ultimates, thankfully, for UMass as of yet, but the Operator, they do have full armor. Witness still on that Ares, so the LMG spray, whether it's Ares or Odin, man, you get that Sova on the LMG, and he just he always seems to find a way. So they're going to have a pretty decent buy here. St. Clair is going to go five rifles, full armor. This is a pretty big round. This is when the game, you can start to really take these two, three rounds in a run, and you can really turn the game over. What's with UMass and jet opping? I, I, really, <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, obviously, we all know it's a very, very good... Uh, it's in meta, and um, it, it's always been very, very strong. But they do it more than I've seen any other team do it here throughout this season. Yeah, they take no breaks with it. Oh, stolen. That's a big wow. flash, but Wombat will be able to shut things down for the side of St. Clair. A player advantage of 5 on 4 and a jet of UMass. Also going to be tanked, but oh. never mind. Boomer, good for 2. Wombat trying to chase him out to potentially get a trade through, but that's bombed down, and Boomer is just going to fall off this position. I mean, this is looking good for UMass despite St. Clair finding the first blood. Yeah, that bomb not in a great position. Wombat is going to have to try to find one. It is back into wine. Try to find one. Oh, right to the left. Boomer is there. Strider is going to walk up to support him now. Alarm bot 
will snitch on Strider. Boonger finds his third around with a wall bang. And now, Paranoia will come through Wombat, will dodge it, but he is absolutely trapped in Wine Cellar. So Hybrid is going to have to swing and help him because he's going to be in a world of trouble here. Cutie, Boonger, and Witness all know he's there. Cutie will find the kill on Wombat. So now down to a 4v1 for UMass and Hybrid. Somehow maybe try to save this Vandal, but I think he'll probably go out on his shield at this point. Gonna try to close the door and cut off Tree, but UMass has full control of the spike, and they have a lot of hungry players waiting for Hybrid to walk through. Yeah, Hybrid is just trying to find some shots through the smoke. He's not gonna be able to land anything. Now with only 23 seconds, he's gonna wanna try to at least get an attempt to win this round. He's gonna have to do something, but it looks like he's actually gonna fall off, play for exits, and maybe save if has to. Uh, but the big thing is just going to be trying to find some of these exit frags, looking for something the intel sent through. It's going to force Hybrid off to hide a little bit. There you go. He's going to get tagged down behind the bricks. They know exactly where he's located. He's going to be getting pushed up, and no, Witness will be able to find that one there in that round. I just want to point out there how funny it was when you... When he looked to heaven? You, no, when you said that the alarm bot snitched on Strider. Oh, <laughs> it's this so, auto. It's it, did, it did snitch on Strider there. It did. It, man. Gave up his location there, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the side of St. Clair now tied up at 8-8 with a UMass throughout 16 rounds and I agree with you completely what you were saying before that round started it all comes down to these rounds now this is where you get to the end game point and if you can string a few rounds together it, it really will benefit you yeah I thought you were going to say hybrid when he was getting pushed by four members looked back to heaven like he wanted a guardian angel to come <laughs> pull him out of there and expel him because he knew he was about to get run up on by a bunch of members of UMass and St. Clair going to be sitting back in garage, trying to just wait for that early utility wave. Don't want to run into any unfortunate oh, grenades or anything. Witness is going to walk up and try to just make some presence zone. Let St. Clair know he is there, but they're going to say, we do not care. They're going to start walking through garage here. Wombat going to beat the sheriff. Does have the blade storm in the back pocket. Maybe he used. Wow. We'll find the one tap on Witness and the blade storm will come online, but Cutie with an excellent position in market wow. finds a kill. Wombat able to get the turn and find the flick with the blades. So now St. Clair, Boathouse is clear. They will be able to get the bomb down. The blade storm is still online. So very, very strong start of your St. Clair. 100%. I think you, I hope they picked up a few rifles. Um, not sure exactly if they did. That flash is not going to be too utilized there from the side of UMass. But St. Clair playing this one from the completely in the back end. However, nice. you do have V-Can in the very, very good position. Sneaky, sneaky behind Garage. Hybrid will fall to Boonger. Boonger looking for more alongside Dolan. There's the Killjoy oh. from V-Can. And they're going to try to hunt him out to find this one. But he's going to pop it pretty far away. So it makes things nice and awkward here. Yeah, well, Wombat is going to get detained. Boonger will find the kill. Now 3v2. Strider will get locked down. Boonger finds his third of the round. Gonna, oh. V-Can going to try to go Kobe with the with a nano swarm. Going to try to find something. We'll actually end up getting two nanos on the bomb. He stops the defuse. And he will stop the defuse. Oh, oh my god. The Hail Mary grenade at the 11th hour. And he will end up getting the clutch. V-Can, no panic, no sweat from way downtown saves the round. I was just confused for a minute because I was just seeing Vikan way on the back end. And I'm like, okay, so like, it's, is he saving the rifle there? What's going on? But uh, Vikan, you cheeky, cheeky guy. You've been learning some lineups oh with my. those swarm grenades. Oh my goodness. And he timed it perfectly because if you throw that one one second later, that's a diffuse oh, for yeah. the side of UMass. And that's the round. So St. Clair... If they win because of one round, I'm going to walk to residence and shake his hand. Because, I mean, V-Can, he is having a game for himself here in this one. Yeah, just finding new ways to, to play Killjoy, man. I didn't even... As, a, as someone who played Killjoy a lot in the set, I did not know that was even a possible lineup, especially to that extent. Watching that thing fly through the air like a, like a beautiful three-pointer is just gorgeous. Blossom is going to walk up immediately. Beauty whip on two. He actually will find two before he gets straight up by Strider. Finally, UMass. 4v3 advantage. And a couple tags come through. Hunter's Jury does come online. Strider will Ooh. get tagged up pretty hard. Looks like he may fall. Two will wow. fall to the Hunter's Jury. So witness. Getting a lot of use out of that Hunter's Jury. And now all on Wombat. And all of a sudden, Maxi shuts him down. And UMass gets that one back really quickly. Yeah, they were not happy about those lines. Yeah, that was <laughs> there. I mean, I don't. I've never seen those lines before, Me neither, personally, actually. to be completely honest. And that is a little surprising considering the amount of valor I have watched in the last few weeks here. Yeah. Um, Saint Clair. Beautiful stuff. I mean, VCAN, I was wondering if that is like a lineup that he like knew about and that they were learning in scrims and that uh, he actually did have in his back pocket for this game because it, it looked like so. He was ready yeah. to go for that. He was way on the back don't line and he too. wasn't even close to sight. He was like, guys, don't worry. I'm going to play from the back and just waste time and as those, best you can. Yeah, those nades literally hit dead center of the spike too. So I think he's, he's figured out that lineup. I didn't know it existed. Why am I going to dash in early? Try to find the kill. We'll get shot down by a witness. So the gun difference proving to be different there. Paranoid will come through. So a lot of members of the same. It's going to be forced back. Grenades coming through as well. Blossom will try to flash out. They're going to have to try to clear market. Rifle shots coming through. Strider will walk in blind. Try to find something. Witness will find another kill. So 5v3. Witness finds 3. Now 4v2. And St. Clair. Going to have to pick up the pieces here. This is going to be a pretty tough entry onto B-Site. 
Especially with pistols in your hand. That is going to be Strider. Good for some damage on Cutie. The Omen, the Omen fight will not go in his favor. Now, UMass good for another round win. And there will take the lead once again in this game after 19 rounds. St. Clair. What are you going to do about it? That's the big question. Maxi going to pull out the AWP against once again for the jet plays. Hybrid going to be looking to buy here as well. It does look like there's going to be a lot invested into this round, though, from both teams. Yeah, Maxi, a lot of money on the side of UMass. So if you're St. Clair, this this might be a must win. They do have a lot of utility, especially the KJ ult, especially because the Hunter's Fury was just used last round. So they'd have a couple of free rounds where they, it might not get destroyed right away. But the buy and the economy for UMass spell a lot of danger for St. Clair if they end up dropping this round. We will see. It's going to be a good amount of pressure over towards B. It's going to be the Omen and the Sova here there now for the side of UMass. But that Killjoy is going to change a lot. Forces the Sova out of position. They will find that kill. And now I believe that UMass is almost just forced to play retakes yeah. here on this one. Because St. Clair is so ready. I'm not sure if I agree with this play, Wombat. Mm. Oh, so close, but Boonger is going to find out. Now they know where Hybrid as well is because they saw the drone come out of Garage. The Op is going to fire off some shots. Strider, I don't know how I feel about you keeping taking that yeah. gunfight. So Blossom going to find Cutie. That's going to be a big one. The Flash not going to get much use. There's Strider finding another. Boonger taking down Beacon. Mexi good for one more. Blossom still alive. It's the 2v1. The Jet very, very weak. Maxi on the defuse. Just a fake. It's all a hoax. And it's now going to be Maxi baiting it out once again. Blossom spotted, but he will make sure to pick up on that intel. Oh, a nice little scan there as well. Now, knowing that this is going to be a fake, and Blossom will find the 3k around for St. Clair. And the Hunter's Fury was popped. Oh, no. St. Clair will waste an ultimate. And that's going to be a 10 to 10 scoreline. They do find the round win, but you wish you still had that Hunter's Fury because that is beautiful to have for post plants. And you could have used it in this one. What a sour way to end such a sweet round. They did such a good job of using the Killjoy lockdown, immediately taking full sight control, getting the picks they needed to delay that time. And. The Hunter's Jury comes online right as the round ending timer pops up in St. Clair. You still take the 10th round. You would have definitely loved to keep that Hunter's Jury, but at least they're going to have some rifles. Going to be a bit of a half armor by the Op and the Odin. Going to come through for the side of UMass. So some heavy firepower for both sides, and we're going to see who wins out here. Yeah, you only pop that Hunter's Fury when you do see Blossom's name on the right-hand side of the feed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I say, otherwise, you do not want to uh, pop that one. There's no need there for that play, but... That being said, St. Clair at least able to tie things up, and they are going to be forcing an opposite site here. Now, Wombat up and high already. Will he spot the KJ? No, Dolan. KJ going to find a oh, few, and that is going to be another one. That's a flawless round for UMass over towards this one. Now, an 11 to 10 game. Okay, so here we go. UMass looking very, very good in this one. It's a, still an 11 oh. to 10 game. We are getting very, very close to nearing the end yep. of things. St. Clair, they're going to have to bring their A game here in these final five. Yeah, why does every game have to go down to the wire, man? We can't just have a nice... I guess we had a 13-1, 13-2 half series the other day, but every single game just feels like it's literally round back and forth. 9-9, nine, 10-10, nine, ten, ten, hopefully 11-11. Eleven, eleven. It just seems like it's going back and forth. If you're St. Clair, you're, just, you're trying to push this to OT. You're not going to probably win three in a row. Just try to push this to OT at this point. UMass does have the lockdown, so a lot of valuable utility there. Wombat will not get shit with the off, and we'll dash away. We'll get tagged up by the KO knife and possibly the recon dart. So once you hear that Odin spray, I would not push through garage for a few seconds. So St. Clair's playing for OT. They have yeah. the pistol buy out. Of course, they can have potential of winning this round. Just realistically, it's not. You have like a five percent chance, maybe if that. It's going to be very difficult with these classics. I mean, V can right here and tagged up. Wombat, well, if he finds one, no, QD will take him down. And now St. Clair out of player disadvantage on the casual pistols. UMass looking to move on to match point here for game number two. The Saints nice. are going to get forced off a little bit here now with that shock dart. Do make their way oh. in, but look at that. Dolan, Maxi, going to find it all. Two each, and UMass now on match point up 12 to 10. St. Clair is now going to have to win two rounds in a row. At match least point. they do have an economy for it. Yeah, unfortunately, the ultimate, I would say, is definitely favors UMass. The Null Command and the Teleport are fantastic, but a Bladestorm and a Lockdown give significantly mm -hmm. more value, both in damage and sight control, because neither of the ultimates for St. Clair actually give you, like, any team, like, like any teamwork, really. UMass, you can set a lot of traps up with those ultimates. Luckily, St. Clair is going to have a full buy, but they are still have to deal with that full buy from UMass with the Op and the Odin, so this will definitely not be easy, but you have to have it, or we're going to map three. Yes, you do. Map number three. We still do not know the map as the loser will pick it. So, that being said, 
Ooh, Boomer, gonna be getting a little bit of interesting here now. That is one tag in the air from the grenade there on the KJ. Ooh. And that, or sorry, not the KJ, the uh, KO. And that is now gonna be Maxi finding the first one on a VCAN. So taking the KJ from St. Clair out of this round immediately. A five on four is not what you like to see. However, the bomb plant does come through, which is gonna be a benefit. The drone's gonna get a little bit of intel, There's but that Odin. Here comes the lockdown and the blade storm from UMass. So now St. Clair gonna be pushed to the edge of the site here. Gonna have low on options. Blossom will shut off the blade storm. Boonger will find a kill. Wombat does get it with the paranoia witness. Able to find the Odin spam. So UMass just slowly but surely picking apart the members of St. Clair with that lockdown, the blade storm, and a couple vandal kills. And then UMass will take it 13 to 10 on the scent. And we will go to map three, which is yet to be determined. So it should be interesting. And it's really interesting as well because both teams are, if we look at just rounds alone, it's 23 23 rounds. Oh my uh, god, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's really, really even game here so far. I do think that the Saints will have a nice little treat, I think, because they do be able to pick the map here. Yeah. Um, but I believe that with them being able to pick the map, it's going to allow UMass to pick side. Which, so we'll see if that's, uh, you know, uh, a valuable or not. But Boomer coming through here, 284 combat score. And then Vikan following up 267. They're way ahead of the rest of the pack. Jeez. And it's crazy because they're KJs. Um, and then you do and see KO on the Blossom. That seems a little bit more typical down there as you drop down lower. But the big thing there was just the way that this uh, side of UMass played it. And he didn't outfrag St. Clair like a crazy amount or anything like that. It was more or less just playing a little bit better as a team. And man, if you're St. Clair, wouldn't you have loved to have that Hunter's Fury those last two rounds, man? See, 100%. There's a little, not that it necessarily means the end of the game, but just a couple little well, things that St. Clair did. everything in that last round yes, there absolutely, with the actually, Fury. Yeah, so St. Clair, you make a few small mistakes in the, like the 21st round, you might think it might not matter, and guess what? Two rounds later, even if the buy is good, those ultimates immediately came into play because even if the Bladestorm doesn't find kills for UMass, Someone has to go address that, and the lockdown, of course, splits everybody off the site. So UMass able to get that ultimate timing a lot better, and St. Clair got the battle back in map three. Exactly the case. We do not know map three as of quite yet, but we are going to send this one to a quick little break here for you guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more NECC Valorant action as we head into map three with your St. Clair Saints and UMass. Hello, my name is Jackson Pride Brown. Join alongside Daniel Jobin. We'll be right back with you guys in just a few.